inspired you to write a track like that? Like that that whole song right there. What I mean, it's just it's just um comprehensive of of how I feel. Like nobody right. can stop me. You know, yeah. you know, in this day and age, you know, somebody like me who, who can still be relevant, right. you know, um, especially when the skills aspect is not the main forte of, of a rap artist anymore, right. you know, is, is a very big plus for me, you know, yeah. it, and it makes me unique. And I'm not I'm not ego tripping, but right. I realize what it is. And if, if I don't shout it and if I don't pump it, who is, no doubt. you know, exactly. and I think that's when this really started happening for me. You know, with um, the internet and all that other stuff right. is when I really start pumping it myself. It's like, come on, y'all. It's like the town meeting. Like, everybody knows what it is, but <laughs> nobody wants to raise their hand. Like, and I had to no. get somebody to raise their hand. Like, yo, you know what it is. And they like, <laughs> right, yeah, right. It's for real. Yeah, it's for real. <laughs> and then everybody else like, yeah, we know what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So exactly. now they know what it is. Follow the leader. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. I, I got to ask the question. Now, I hear that Jay-Z got his name from you. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where he never came to me and said, like, yo, I'm going to take the J and the Z from uh -huh. jazz and, and incorporate it into my name. But it's like, come on now, your name is Sean Carter. Right. Yeah. And you rhyme with me. I took right. you under my wing. Like, one and one is two. Right. right. So, yeah. you know, I just <laughs> leave it at that. It's pretty obvious. All right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. There you well, go. I just want to let, you know, like, I always talk about, like, my relationship with people that I have brought in to Caliente Hills Mix Radio. And back in the day, I used to chill with Dame Dash over at 1199. We used to throw parties in the house with uh, Radu and all of the guys up there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I had, like, a personal connection with him because when he first started Rockefeller, I was working at his barbershop over there on 112th Street right. over there on the east side. And I seen it fall, and I was like, this machine is crazy because I know that the stuff that you've done production-wise and even writing and stuff like right. that, and then source money, you know what I mean? You had yeah. the whole Marcy projects going crazy. Your whole team was sick. It was, it would, you know what I mean? The it good was time, unstoppable. You know, I want yeah. everyone to know before it came now, it came to, to where it's at right now, there was a lot of great times you guys had, man. Because I even went to North Carolina and watched y'all perform out there. Yeah. Do my man Radu. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was like, yo, Benny, come with me, man. It's all good. And to see you guys doing it the way y'all was doing it, it hurts it my big. heart, man, to see that everyone is not really fucking with each other like that. Right. right. And, and you know, it, it, it hurts me to a point, you know, but, you know, I'm not very emotional in that kind right. of stuff. You know, I'm emotional about my kids outside of that, you know, no doubt. could go either way. But, um, you know, um, it, it was hurtful. But one thing that needs to be recognized is that um, Jay-Z is a crab. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Right. He's a crab. It's like I didn't want to really come in an interview and, and say stuff like that. And when you say stuff like that, you walk in a thin line with like, oh, he's hating, mm -hmm. right, you know. Right. And it's like it's really not it's about it's that. It's 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 it, about ha that, it has man. to be said. And he's right. not the only one. But the, re the main reason I say it is not really for me, like, to get my feelings out and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's that he's one of the gatekeepers that happens to be fucking up our genre mm -hmm. of hip hop. Okay. He's messing it up. Yeah. And and him and a couple of other people, they're doing this, and they're messing up what we love so much. You know, they're the reason why um, songs go out of style in two weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where's the cla where are the classics? You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm not saying that anybody who does hip hop differently than I sh than I do shouldn't be heard. Right. I'm just saying that there should be a balance. Like, New York radio shouldn't sound like San Francisco radio, which sounds like Chicago radio, which sounds like Miami radio. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. A, that's a good you know, point. and somebody has to say it. You know, right. somebody got to say something. Real, you know, and, you know, people will say stuff like, you know, people talk about certain, you know, um, moguls in, right. in, you know, um, black music or in the entertainment industry in itself. And, and um, you know, it'll die down and stuff like that because, you know, these people don't really have the, the vehicle in which to, push this type of um, complaint, right. so to speak. But somebody has to say something. Right. And I feel that being in my platform has increased, no doubt. you know, um, over the years and, and, and very recently, you know, doubled and tripled. Right. I feel I should say something. No you doubt. know, some people might say, like, oh, you shouldn't say anything yet, but, like, why not now? Right. And right. I ain't scared. No now doubt. or never. What's up, man? Now or never. Well, Jazzo, man, I want to play that track all over again. You know oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> and it's something nice to listen to. No doubt. We're going to bring that back real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's a cipher truck. Oh, it's yeah. A little puddle bob, I ain't bob your head. <laughs> I, I, bob your head. No other way to put that. <laughs> bob your head. That's true. Most humans to dance. Yeah, but you see, if, if I put the track on, we gotta have the ladies stand up and Benny dance. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a cypher track. Oh, are we agreed on it? Yeah, this is a cypher track. But Benny gonna bob. You gonna bust man moves, Benny? You gonna bust man moves, Benny? Nothing holding you up. You bust that move. You gonna bust the move? Bob your head. But he say, he say, yo, that's the type of track that you at the bar for. As we said, the bar. Ticket. Hurry up! I got a fight ticket to lose. He's like everybody so else except me. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, here we go. This, this is Jazz O. Oh, I'm coming yeah. back to you. Yeah. 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 Got to get the hits fixed. Yeah. Every day is Friday. Yeah. 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 the game. Now that's so niggas. So vigorous, hail to the king and bear witness to the stylers of the verbal nuclear physicists. Like Jay Runner said, you know what the business is. Humble and diligent, labeled a militant, the chief cornerstone and the foundation. What you building with? It's the motherfucking county and by dexterous. Uh, lone star like Texas. And fools want to criticize a perfectionist. Arrange an MC writer, you read it. How many great rhymes say it's producing hit records, right? You know my name, think it and let me talk, yeah. Every word I utter, I walk the walk. I saw homicides before the police in the chalk. Yeah, my wrist looking like star constellations. Uh -huh. Make music to avoid incarceration. Right. With the trade 80, stay warm, homie, stay calm. From the trenches to the top, nobody can stop me. Horse to the drive, uh. nobody can stop me. Key to the lock, uh. nobody can stop me. Uh. Say it, you say it, uh. nobody can stop 